Hello, my name is Whitney, and this video answers the question, can the commutative property use, be used for subtracting integers? So the commutative property, in addition, states that a plus b is equal to b plus a. So what we're trying to do is figure out whether a minus b is equal to b minus a when a and b are both integers. So let's look at an example. How about 3 minus negative 4 equaling minus 4 minus 3. So the first answer will be we're going to need to change this minus a negative to adding a positive and we get 7. Here, we're going to do the same thing, change this minus sign to adding the opposite sign, and we get minus 7. So in this case, the commutative property does not hold for subtracting integers. But let's try one more case. How about 3 minus negative 2, which would be minus 2 minus 3. So here, 3 minus negative 2, we are going to add the opposite and get 5. And here, 2 minus 3, add the opposite and get negative 5. So we see for subtracting integers, the commutative property does not hold true. Thanks for watching. My name's Whitney.